Hi OG, I'm Miss Joy Montejo. Welcome to Munting Hardin. So, dito sa aming Munting Hardin, meron kaming mga halaman of course because I am a plant lover or certified plantita. Dito, uh, we make sure na magiging child friendly din siya. So we have this playground. Meron kaming swing and slide para sa mga kids because I have kids. And then ito yung siso. So siso kasi I grow up na naglalaro ng siso. So ito pinagawa talaga namin to para hindi para sa mga bata kundi para din sa aming matatanda. My inspiration for this house are my kids. Kasi gusto ko ma-experience nila yung childhood na naranasan ko. Yung being outdoor, yung tumatakbo-takbo kayo sa paligid, naglalaro kayo ng taguan, patintero, you play with animals, may mga alaga kang hayop, nagtatanim ka ng mga gulay. So gusto ko maranasan nila yon yung, yung buhay na yon na masaya kahit walang gadgets. Since I have two kids na boys, so isa sa bonding ng nilang mag-aama is to play basketball. Actually, the concept is a small house lang. Small bahay kubo sa gitna ng bukid. Ganun lang talaga yung pangarap ko. Kawayan lang siya. Sabi ng father ko, bakit ka magpapagawa ng kawayan? Sayang lang yung pera mo. Ang dami nating puno sa bundok na pwede nating ipatistes, gawin nating bahay, mas matagal. So, doon nag-start. So, this is our farmhouse, which we call Villa Montejo Farmhouse. This is a two-story farmhouse with a total floor area of 180 square meters. 80 square meters dito sa baba and 100 square meters sa taas. Tara, pasok tayo. Okay. So, this is our living area. This is where we usually do our bonding moments with the kid and as family. So, as you can see, uh, the farmhouse is 80% made of wood. There are only three materials na ginamit dito. Number one is wood, number two is glass, and number three is the concrete. So, 80% of the house is made from wood. So, the exciting part here is yung unti-unti mo nang binubuo yung konsepto ng bahay. Kasi sa totoo lang, wala siyang plano. So, everything from scratch, yung nakikita mo siya, nagkakaroon na siya ng muka. So, yung mga details ng bahay, lahat kasi nang galing sa akin. So, so this sala set is made from mahogany. So, makikita mo siya, medyo ready siya. It's a combination of mahogany and eucalyptus wood. So, it started from scratch din siya. Ito yung mga materials na kinuha namin sa bundok. So, here in the living room area, we still have the television. The original plan for this wall is one big artwork of a tree as a tribute dun sa mga puno na ginamit dito sa farmhouse. I decided to push through the construction of this house because this is my long-time dream. So, yung munding hardin, pangarap ko talaga that at the age of 40, meron na akong retirement house. During the pandemic, parang everything is so uncertain. Yung buhay parang ang bilis. During that time, sabi ko, no, this is the time na kailangan talaga magawa ko na siya. So, this is it. In God's grace, ito na siya. Okay, so as I have mentioned, I am a certified plantita. So here in Munting Hardin, uh, we make sure na meron talaga kaming mga plant corner as source of oxygen. Gusto ko kasi yung bahay talagang hindi artificial yung mga halaman. Dito sa bar, um, pag tumambay ka dito, when you get to sit there, overlooking siya dun sa mga mountains. That is Sierra Madre Mountains. So, pahabang nagkukwentuhan kayo ng mga friends mo, it's so refreshing na nakikita natin yung bundok. This bar is multi-purpose also. So, yung loob niya, ayan, so as you can see, ginawa namin siyang parang shelves ng mga utensils. So, yung aming dining utensils, dito na namin siya in store I think it's August or September. Nag-falls kami dito sa area. Tapos, first time ko dito, nakita ko kung gaano kaganda yung view. Tapos, sabi ko sa sarili ko, dito kong gustong magkaroon ng retirement house. And I was praying so hard kasi prayerful person ako. Sabi ko, Lord, sabi ko, eto na. Eto na yung gusto kong gift on my 40th birthday. Okay, so this is our dining area. 
So, yung design is, syempre, with the help of Pinterest, maraming engine search. So, this is my personal choice kasi very simple lang siya and yet elegant. Meron din tayo mga lamps dito. Shopee finds. <laughs> so, galing lang siya sa Shopee. So, gusto ko kasi yung idea na para siyang nest. So, pero napakaganda din kasi niya, especially yung warm lights during the night, medyo romantic ang vibes. Actually, I am not financially prepared. Wala talaga, wala sa plano na on this year, uh, magkakaroon ako ng farmhouse. No, walang ganun. Basta ang gusto ko lang that time is uh, on my 40th birthday, kailangan kahit pa paano masimulan ko siya. Villa Montejo has two rooms, isa dito sa baba at isa doon sa taas. So, this is our couple room. This was really intended for my parents para pang nagstay sila dito kasi seniors na hindi na sila aakyat sa taas. Dito sa couple room na to, maliit lang siya pero when you open the curtains, makikita mo yung view ng garden sa paligid plus the bamboo trees naman dito sa gilid. Okay, so proceed naman tayo dun sa aming mini kitchen. Okay, so this is our mini kitchen. So, maliit lang siya kasi we are just small family of four lang naman. We also have here our breakfast nook area. Wala naman sana kaming future plans. Not uh, until pinarent na namin siya kasi marami nang naghahanap ng, uh, ng amenities talaga. Medyo marami lang tayong sore eyes sa paligid because ongoing po ang aming second phase of development. So, from that bahay kubo, dyan namin itatayo yung aming mini pool and for there will be some cottages and playground area para sa mga bata. Okay, so since we're done na dito sa baba, let's go upstairs which is the favorite part of the house. So, here, makikita nyo po itong rattan cabinet na ito, this one, di ba kasi during the pandemic, in na in si Rattan. So, para lang magkaroon ng boho touch yung ating farmhouse. So, we have here the cabinet and of course, merong halaman. So, since the house is a fusion of old and modern architecture, gumamit tayo dito ng copies windows. Come on, let's go upstairs. Okay, so over here is our family room. One big family room with lots of beds. Wala siyang partition because we intend not to block the view kasi as you can see, we have a 180 de degrees view of the Sierra Madre Mountain. So over here naman, meron tayong day bed. Dito, kinamit namin yung Bigan bricks kasi gusto ko ma-feel yung old house sa Bigan. This cafe's windows is 100 year old, sabi nung seller. Kasi this one came from Tarlac. Binili ko siya during pandemic when they decided na gibain yung bahay na which is 100 years old na. So over here is our sala set. So makikita mo rin siya, may touch of antiques din tayo. So, dito din sa taas, we have our mini pantry and bar cart. Nung pinaparente na siya, ginawa ko na siyang mini store, tindahan ni Juan, which is the honesty store na namin. So, naglalagay lang ako ng mga goodies dyan kasi nga malayo yung tindahan. Pag yung mga wala silang baon, at least, hindi na sila lalabas. This is our uh, entry of the bathroom. So, meron tayong laboratory here. Siyempre, may halaman yan. Forever in love with plants. Na malaking mirror. Nakakatawa yung mirror na to kasi nagre-reflect dito yung view. So, pag nagsasalamin ka, kita mo talaga yung view ng mountain. So, masaya. For me, it's refreshing. So, this is our bathroom. Hindi pa siya masyado sa post. Gusto ko ng bigger bathroom kasi gusto ko yung bathroom na maraming halaman. Even nga yung tiles natin are plants. So over here, medyo hindi pa siya tapos. Ipapakita ko na rin. Dito yung aming... Uh, okay? So from here kasi, ang ganda ng view. It's so relaxing. 
Uh, dito namin ilalagay yung aming tub. So, mini jacuzzi siya. Uh, imagine yourself, nakababat ka sa hot tub. And then, uh, with the view of the mountains. Tapos may mga halaman sa paligid mo. Tapos yung hangin, ito, super hangin, di ba? So refreshing talaga. Okay, so nandito tayo sa aming coffee area. So this is my favorite part of the house talaga kasi it's so refreshing and relaxing. So when I want to be quiet at mag-isip lang, so dito ako pumupunta. This is my breakfast area. Dito ako nagkakape. The lot is 200,000 pesos for 1,854 square meter property. So very lucky talaga kami kasi kung magkumputin mo, almost 100 pesos lang per square meter. The construction of the house, I initially started at 200,000, 200,000 pesos. Before ako nag-decide na mag-loan na ako ng 1 million pesos para matapos na talaga. So more or less, it's 1 million plus plus plus. Okay, so that ends our house tour here in Villa Montejo Farmhouse, located at Villa Paraiso, Rizal, Neve Siha. For those who are interested for a vacation house rental, you can like and follow Munting Hardin page. We offer this farmhouse for overnight accommodation for as low as 3,500 pesos up to 7,000 pesos depending on the number of person who will stay here. Thank you very much. See ya! Want to share your house and get featured? Email us at stories.onlygood at gmail.com and tell us about your interesting home story.